Now we're going to acquire the signal, which we are three-way with station 25. So we're acquiring the signal, which is the signal level over here. The antenna now should be in uh, good operating condition for the next uh, I don't know, 10 to 15 years. We expect it to operate quite well for the next through 2025. Uh, we have a number of missions that are relying on the, the big dish. Uh, uh, Juno is coming up, uh, Mars Science Laboratory when it uh, lands um, on Mars. We have, we have a number of critical activities planned for this antenna, so that's why we want to keep it running. And it should be in tip-top shape, uh, and this next month should prove that out. The biggest job was replacing the azimuth bearing. This whole antenna floats on a film of oil about five to ten thousandths of an inch thick. It's about the, the thickness of a sheet of paper. We had to replace the entire assembly that allowed that to happen. Seventy meter antennas are the largest antennas in the deep space network. They have the, the best capability to bring back the most amount of data and we're always struggling to find enough antenna time for all the missions that want to use the deep space network. Having this antenna back just really increases the overall volume of data we can return, makes it that much more important for the, for the spacecraft users of the DSN, the projects themselves. More data means more scientific discovery.